Okay, we upgrade our things for one of three reasons, and I'm going to be careful with how I phrase these, but it's either because we need to, we want to, or because we fail to think for ourselves. Now, knowing this, the question then becomes, where do we draw the line when it comes to upgrading so we can separate and understand the reasons behind this action? You know, our drive or the desire in some cases to upgrade our things. And I'm going to answer this by walking us through each of these three reasons and providing some context around minimalism and how it intermingles with upgrading. <laughs> because their relationship isn't as bad as you may think. It just all depends on which perspective you're viewing it from, or in other words, which reason is driving your action. All right, let's talk about needing to first. Now, someone who is practicing minimalism and living an intentional life, you or I, right? If one of us said that we need to upgrade our phone or our car, for example, it may look confusing to someone on the outside looking in. Because to them, we're minimalist, right? And minimalists shouldn't upgrade their things because they should find value and joy in what they already have. <laughs> There's a lot of air quotes I just did. But see, this confusion comes from not understanding someone's reason. The reason behind the need to upgrade. And yes, we have to be mindful that we don't mistake needs for wants. And I'll talk more about that later. But see, usually the word need is followed by a legitimate reason. For example, I'm still rocking the iPhone 6S and it's holding on pretty strong and I'm not planning to upgrade anytime soon, but if I was, my need for wanting to would be because the battery life now is terrible. I find myself using low power mode very often and sometimes turning it on even when the phone is fully charged. But personally, I use my phone as a secondary tool to help me manage my business, right? So battery life is kind of important. See, basically what I'm saying is if your reason for needing to upgrade directly impacts your ability to function, live, or manage areas of your life, then go upgrade. All right, let's talk about the idea of wanting to upgrade now. Wants are completely different than needs. I'm sure we all can understand that, which is why it's important that we separate the two and manage our actions and desires to upgrade. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a natural feeling to want upgraded things, right? I mean, I don't want you thinking I'm not human because I am, right? It, it would be nice to have the newest iPhone or a newer iPhone, and one day I may upgrade, but do I really need to? See, an easy way to separate wants from needs and to help us stop some of those impulse purchases we make is something called the wait list. Now, what is it and how does it work, right? So the next time you come across something you want or want to upgrade, before you spend any money on it, write it down on a wait list. So for me, that thing would be a new phone, right? So a uh, new phone. There you go, new phone. And after you write it down, wait a couple of weeks or longer if you want, and then go back and look at the things you wrote down on your list. If anything on that list seems less appealing or something you no longer need, remove it from the list. Eventually those things that really need to be replaced or upgraded will remain on the list and slowly work their way to the top. At this point, it's safe to say that that upgrade is worth it. All right, the last point that I wanna talk about for why we upgrade is because we're failing to think for ourselves. Now, this is not meant to be a low blow or rude, but sometimes we don't think for ourselves. Instead, we're easily influenced by the media, social media included, advertisement, friendships, and even people we don't even know. See, and this influence controls our actions, the way we think, to the point where we're not even thinking for ourselves. And everything we do or buy or upgrade is done because we saw it somewhere else first. And now we have this FOMO feeling, right? The fear of missing out, the most powerful influence anything can have over you. So here's a final thought for you. There's nothing inherently wrong with upgrading while practicing minimalism. The key, however, is doing it just like anything else you're doing on your journey with intention, purpose, reason, and for you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, if it resonated with you, make sure you give a thumbs up for me. Also comment below so we can continue this conversation. I love talking with you in the comment section. If it's your first time tuning in, welcome. I'm really glad to have you here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Always remember to stay true to you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.